When we're talking about cinematography, take risks. Two or three DPs, Cesar Chalone, Guillermo Navarro, they, they always encourage me to, to take risks, to go for it. Do not wait to go and shoot, to go and do, to go and call, to go and, you know, knock on doors. I remember Chalone changing the iris, you know, during a shot, but not because he was going from a dark place to a bright place, but just because of the story. And those were advice about taking risks with what you're doing with your craft. That was the best advice, you know, to go for it. My process creatively, it's a mixture of a lot of things. I do all the things that most of the DPs do, which is like see references, see frames from movies, see movies. But it's weird because even though you may take all those references and you may end up with a, with a thing that's completely different, right? I think the most important process for me is just to work on the material. But by working, I say like read the script once and again and I listen to what the director has to say. Because in the end, it's a weird instinctive thing what we do. I believe a lot on putting into the screen that script, but also try to read what's in the mind of the director to put whatever he or she is seeing onto the screen. It's super difficult to explain what you want from a camera or a lens, right? Because there are no words that explain that kind of stuff. There's, it's more like feelings. I can explain a song, I can tell you the notes, I can tell you the tempo, but you'll never understand that song perfectly. You need to hear it, right? With lenses and cameras, sometimes it happens the same. You, I can say that, like, yeah, I, I need less sharpness or more sharpness or you know, more aberrations or not, but in the end, it ends up being something that you see and you relate to. What I love the most is when I see the movie finished on the theater. And the other thing I love about what I do is when I'm working, that I get into some kind of zone. It's like meditating in a way, capturing that emotion or that thing. The first time I worked with Panavision was at a movie I shot in Atlanta. I've done quite a few movies with Panavision, and I remember like feeling part of history. <laughs> I felt you know, honored and happy that I, was, I had the chance to use Panavision. <laughs>